Hey, how's it going YouTube? My name's Lucas, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my little studio in LA. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video about a question that I got from a songwriter that I work with who's starting to use Ableton more. And sometimes when people send you stems, you wanna import them into Ableton and it can be a little tricky to figure out how to line them all up correctly. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that today. This will be just like a quick tip, quick lesson and I've been using Ableton for a really long time, so I'm super used to its little quirks and things. I think every software has its own like little quirks, so I've been using this one for a long time, so I, I can show you my workflow for doing this and avoiding any potential pitfalls. So let me know if you guys find this helpful or not. Uh, leave me a comment or something, because I definitely like to see what you guys think, and it will help me make uh, future videos and better videos. So. Here we go, we have Ableton. I have a folder of some stems that I'm gonna be using for this demo, so we're just gonna drag them in, and it's trying to put them all on one track, which is not what I want, because they're stems. I want them, if you just hold down Command, it's gonna disperse them to different tracks. So that's an important key command to know. Okay, so here they are. Now, one of the main things that I actually wanted to talk to you about is as you can see, I imported these and they're not warped by default. There's a setting that you need to make sure you are aware of in Ableton. So if you uh, press Command, uh, comma, and go to Record Warp Launch, there is an option where you can do Auto Warp Long Samples on or off. So I'm going to show you what it's like if you have that on. This is actually super useful and I'll find myself going between the two, but just so you understand how this works, this can, this can be really hard to wrap your head around if you're new to Ableton. So if I drag these in with the warp on, first of all, it'll take a little bit longer, and then all of a sudden, you're gonna see some of them are shorter, some of them longer, you're like, what, like this is messed up, obviously, it's not what stems should look like when you import them. So essentially what happens is, Ableton is really good, but sometimes it can be a little quirky, so, what Ableton just did with the auto warp samples on, or sorry, auto warp long samples. So base, basically Ableton is reading the audio files and trying to warp it. It's trying to adjust the timing to fit your tempo right here that you've decided in the tempo, uh, in, in the tempo uh, uh, the little menu right here. So the thing is, is we haven't started recording or done anything. We don't even know the tempo of this because this is a, this is some stem someone sent me. So that's not really going to work. So what you'd have to do one by one is go to each individual audio file and hit on warp and then drag this slider all the way to the left to make sure it starts in the right place. So I'm going to do all these individually. So this is what I used to do. And this is kind of time consuming. Luckily this for this demo I, I have stems that are, you know, not too many audio files, but if this was a, a big project this would not be cool. Or if you you know, were doing like a mixing session or something like that, this would take a long time. So that's what the process would be like. Now we have all of these with the warp unchecked. And I can go ahead and enter whatever the tempo is. If you don't know what the tempo is, I actually have another video covering that and I'll probably make more videos on that too because that's a skill that you can build up. Uh, and Ableton over time is getting really good at, at um, putting in the right tempo when someone sends you a file and doesn't have the tempo. Uh, written down in the file name, but that's actually really useful if you're ever sharing files I recommend just writing the tempo of the session just write in the reference track because that's super helpful for Production, but um, so here now we're done right and I can I set the tempo to whatever it is, but <clears throat> I would recommend checking out this setting and if you know you're importing a bunch of audio turn off auto warp long sample that way when you drag them in it won't auto warp and then you can change the, the you can change the tempo and, and get started on your session so i just wanted to clear that up so this is how you line up stems that people send you in ableton importing is a little goofy but it works really well once you wrap your head around it you can also do do all this right straight from the browser too you can add a folder you can add like your downloads folder or whatever it is but i just used finder for this one so let me know if this was helpful or not and I'd love to hear some feedback, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.